minor connector for mandibular distal extension base should extend half the length of edentulous ridge, two third the length of edentulous ridge, full length of edentulous ridge, and none of the above. Okay, so we are talking about a partial denture that's Kennedy class one or two. That is distal extension. So we have teeth present everywhere except in this region. Okay. So what should be the extent of the minor connector over it? Now, as we know, minor connectors are of three types: lattice, mesh, and nail head. Usually lattice or mesh is used, preferably lattice is used for uh, distal extension in mandibular arches. So should it be this length of the minor connector over here, should it be half the length or two third the length or should it be full length? Now what happens if it is half the length? If it is half the length, then there is weaker acrylic because there is not enough reinforcement sorry acrylic so susceptible to fracture if it is full if it is completely covering the edentulous area there is no space for teeth arrangement also the acrylic will distort more if it is two-third is it is optimum now the reason why it should be two-third the edentulous span is because it reduces the acrylic distortion Secondly, it provides place for teeth arrangement. It provides adequate bulk of acrylic for a uh, peripheral seal. And it facilitates relining whenever possible, whenever required. So for these reasons, it is kept two third of the edentulous span. Here in the key concept, we have this image. Let's zoom into this image. So this is the edentulous span on both sides. As you can see, two third of this edentulous span is covered by the minor connector. Correct. Also ensure that the buccolingual a uh, covering of the minor connector should not extend up to the sulcus okay this area is to allow place for acrylic so when acrylic comes over here we know that the retromolar pad is also a compressible tissue we do not want metal over here so metal is not to be placed till the retromolar pad so you cannot cover the entire edentulous area remember this is distal extension we are talking about so retromolar pad should not be covered by metal because it will impinge on that and cause pressure. That is why for all these reasons, the minor connector should be two third the length of edentulous ridge in the mandibular distal extension cast partial denture.